And first of all, uh, please uh, scan this code. Otherwise, you can uh, go to the link to mark your present. Uh, I'm going to uh, remind you some of the lessons that you have already done. Uh, you have done comprehension, that is exercise one in your syllabus, and uh, the second one, multiple matching, it is the second exercise in your syllabus, and other than that, you have done some idioms in context. So these are the three lessons that you have already covered right now. Uh, today's lesson, not making. This is the third question in your exercise. In your question paper, third exercise this is, not making. First of all, uh, let's uh, see some learning objectives in this lesson. Identify the two reading strategies, skimming and scanning. I know that already you have completed this skimming and scanning, these two lessons, because uh, it has been done uh, with the first previous two lessons, that is uh, uh, comprehension and multiple matching questions, and identifying the techniques for note making. This is a different question, so definitely you need to understand some other techniques uh, to write the answers for the note making question. So these things will be the objectives of this lesson, and then success criteria. Understand the reading skills needed for note making. There are certain reading skills that we need to understand uh, in this question. And identify the techniques used before making notes. And what are the things, what are the notes, uh, when, before we make notes, what are the things that we need to know. So that's also very, very important. So we are going to study all these things with this lesson. Note making. Exercise 3, as I said you, first and second we have already completed and the second question not making. And what is not making? This exercise, of course, you are getting a text, text of uh, sometimes maybe around 3 or 5 paragraphs. So with these paragraphs, uh, what are the techniques that we need to use here? Reading strategies, that is skimming mostly we use here. Skimming means that we are reading for a uh, reading uh, just uh, superficially to find out the uh, main information about the text and then after that we are transferring some sort of uh, uh, keywords specific words for the given topics what are the assessment objectives and uh, there are certain type of assessment objectives here understand and respond to information presented in a variety of forms and we understand the text and then after that we inform, we transfer this inform, this information presented in a variety of forms that means the questions that is called a reading assessment objective one R1 second one Select and organize material relevant to specific purposes. That's called R2, reading assessment objective two. Select and organize material. We have to select materials. We have to organize materials uh, relevant to specific purposes. What are the specific purposes? They are there on the uh, left side of your paper. That is, th those are the questions and headings. So we are writing the answers to those headings and purposes very specific. Third one, recognize, understand and distinguish between facts, ideas and opinions. So we have to recognize, we have to understand and distinguish and we need to understand all these things because there are sort of ideas, facts and opinions. Uh, facts are fact, it can be changed like days, years and those things are facts. Ideas and opinions can be changed. They are ideas, our opinions. Uh, that should be subjectively proved. What skills do we need? Uh, I know the students that you can just understand those things. The skills that we need to uh, have here. These are the skills. 
scanning and skimming. These skills you have already achieved to a certain extent. So we are still uh, speaking about it furthermore in this lesson too. So skimming and scanning. What is skimming? Skimming refers to the process of reading only main ideas. So we are reading only for main ideas. Within a passage to get an overall impression. We get the overall impression overall what the text says to us. Overall impression of the given text. So this what we call skimming. There are certain steps for skimming. When we uh, follow uh, this strategy, there are certain steps we will see. Read the title. Why do we need, uh, need to read the title? Because it's really important to read the title because title will give you uh, what contains in the paragraph. Read the first sentence of every other paragraph. Why? Why we need to read it? Uh, uh, the first sentence of each and every paragraph because that's the umbrella sentence. So that indicates what the paragraph is about. Read any headings and subheadings. Reading headings and subheadings in this also very important because headings and subheadings will give you the clear picture of what is there in the text under the subheadings or headings. Notice any pictures, charts or graphs. We have to notice these things. Pictures, charts or graphs. That can be another clue for you. Because uh, uh, pictures should also be observed, charts or any other uh, graphical element. If there is, definitely uh, we need to observe that also. There can be some answers in those things too. Notice any little size or bold face words or phrases. In a paragraph, when you read a paragraph, definitely you find some sort of slanted letters, slanted words, right? At two different places or three different places you might find. These things can be names, so some other pronouns or proper nouns. So that we need to understand these things because that can also be another clue for your answers. Now let's uh, look at this uh, small exercise. Just get uh, several seconds to read this and try to find out the main idea of this paragraph. Alright, hope that you might have read this and let's see this main idea. So we will see the answer here. Just look at the board now and see I have highlighted all the things, the main idea. It, saw, it shows the writer uh, has written some sort of digits. See that? Age of 90. 50 kilometers of the coast of Turkey, a 95 year old man, 98 year old woman, 102 year old man. All these things are some sort of digits, numerals. So that also can be another thing that you need to find out uh, to write the answers because this is another uh, clue. Our next uh, strategy that is uh, scanning. You try to anticipate how the answer will appear and what clues you might find to help you to locate the answer. So you are uh, anticipatingly waiting or reading to find out the answer. What would be the answer for the first one and the second one consequently. So. Uh, you will have the curiosity to find out the answer. So that means you are reading for a purpose. You have the purpose and you are reading for that, to achieve that purpose. 
looking for specific information you read the paragraph intently to find answers ignoring unrelated information so we we don't want to read all the things and there are some unrelated uh, uh, information too and we are writing we are reading that uh, for a specific information because we want to find out uh, the specific information for our particular headings so we are reading intently purposely that's called scanning do we need paraphrasing that's the question so what do you think uh, students do you think that we need paraphrasing in this uh, exercise yeah i don't think so. because uh, sometimes uh, uh, very rarely this comes paraphrasing paraphrasing is actually it comes in the next question that's your summary writing so exercise 4 not in this but there are some cases uh, very rarely uh, that you need to paraphrase the answers answer can be consequently in two sentences so you have to paraphrase a long sentence to a small phrase some sort of words so we need a little so we don't uh, emphasize much on this paraphrasing let's watch a small video and we will see what we can gain from this when we want to understand the main idea of a text we can use skimming to help us let's see how that works The main ideas are usually found in the title, the first and last paragraph, and the first sentence of each paragraph. Let's look at the title. Death of the album. We can guess that this text is about the death or the end of the album. Now let's look at the first paragraph. So, for the latest song from your favorite artist, you will go to the computer not a music store you'll download and never see the album cover it's the end of the album because we don't go to stores and buy albums we download individual songs instead let's look at the first line of each paragraph an album is a collection of songs by the same artist or a group of artists not so long ago Music companies had teams of people who would help design the cover of the album. Today, people interact and enjoy music very differently. Artists also have web pages filled with all the information fans could possibly want. So what we understand so far is that the album is a collection of songs. In the past, lots of people worked on its cover, so it was important. Now, it's all different. Even information on the artist can be found online. Let's continue with the paragraphs. Some record companies are holding on to the album at least in CD format. Some people argue that the benefits of a new format are too numerous. So, we understand that some companies still produce albums on CD, but downloading has many benefits. Now let's look at the last paragraph. Changes to the way we physically store music have had a great impact on the music industry. The album has been reduced to something that fits in your hand. The album is dead because downloading has so many benefits. We don't need to go to the music store because we can buy music online. We don't need to buy all the songs on an album because we can download individual songs. We don't need an album cover because we can find information on the artist online. We don't need lots of space to store all of our music because it can now fit in our hands. The music industry is now completely different. Okay, what do you understand from the video? Uh, you have watched the video now, a simple video, and uh, it shows definitely how to find the main ideas of the paragraph. 
the key words, key points. So this can be uh, useful for both the exercises. Uh, that is exercise uh, three and exercise four. In the coming uh, lesson, that you will learn this summary writing in that also. So this is a very useful video for that. And before we write our answers, uh, we have another task. We need to understand these things too. Things to be considered before attempting to write answers. We need to understand there are certain things that we need to write in note making and because uh, we have to follow some procedures there too. And first of all, read the headings and underline the keywords. That's very important. We read the headings. There are three or four headings, sometimes two headings in the questions. So under these headings, we make notes. So reading headings is really important. Understanding it also extremely important. And then underline the keywords. There are some requirements in the heading because there are some keywords there. Those keywords will have sort of requirements that we need to understand these requirements. And then according to that, we have to underline the keywords. Uh, example, we can see this, two subheadings. Examples of blue zone areas and the people who live in them. That's one subheading. The second subheading is similar lifestyle characteristics of blue zone areas. So students, try to guess the keywords of these two subheadings. Hope we have done it. Let's see. First one, examples of blue zone areas. So example, blue zone areas, people who live. These are the keywords of the first subheading. And the second subheading, similar lifestyle characteristics. These are the three similar lifestyle characteristics. So these are the keywords of this. So once you find the keywords, you know the answers. You can find the answers very easily. Understand the keywords of the subheading is extremely important. The next point, read the text fairly quickly. That's called skimming, but as much concentration as possible. You need to read very quickly, but with the concentration, because you might lose sometimes. So keep the concentration uh, when you read the paragraph. That's called skimming. Slow down and reread any parts you find confusing. Also very important, some students uh, don't do this actually, because they want to write sometimes answers with one reading. No, it's not like that, because you might lose some, sometimes answers, you might miss the answers. So find out, and this problem, and if any, any place, any one or two sentences, if it is very longer, lengthier, and you won't be able to uh, identify what it says, so reread it. Otherwise, you break them into small pieces, uh, sentences, right? And into small uh, uh, phrases, then read it. Then you will understand that. So it will not confuse you anymore. So this is also uh, one of the important aspects of this. The other one, unline keywords of the text that are relevant with the pencil or three different colored pencils. Why? Pencil is actually needed to write the answers, uh, underline the answers, because when you, when you get three different colors, of course, it is very really easy, because if there are three headings, three subheadings, then remember that when you underline the first subheading with yellow color, the key relevant points, you can underline with the yellow color. So you will not miss with the other things, right? You are not mixing with the other answers. So that's very clear that you are writing your answers, you are very precisely. And two different colors, otherwise with a pencil, but you can do another thing that is called, called coding. So coding, uh, see the, uh, these subheadings, examples of blue zone areas and the people who live in them. Uh, similar lifestyle characteristics of blue zone areas. This also we can, uh, under these headings, if you code this one, and coding can be done like this. The first letter, E. And under these examples, when you find examples, you try to find out example one, 
E1, E2, E3. So you can make your notes in that way and you don't make any mistakes. And the, for the similar, second one similarly, similar lifestyle characteristics. When you find out these things, you can do S1, S2, S3 and so on. So these are, this is called coding and these answers will not be really wrong. So your answers will be right. So this is another way of understanding this. Keep your answers short. Remember, the not should not be in full sentences. Look at this example. Equipment needed for the players. We have to write the answers in short and not in long sentences. We are not writing sentences here. The players, the equipment needed for the players. The players need nets and nets. Okay, the players need nets. That's a complete answer, complete sentence. We don't want to uh, go for that. And the answer is nets because equipment needed. So the answer is only this, only one, right? So not complete sentence. Only this word is the answer for that. So avoid this complete sentence. Don't write any complete sentence here. And it is the answer. And let's see this example too. Details of the match. Uh, that is subheading. So then uh, we will see. Uh, it was held in 1995. Held in 1995. Which is the most suitable answer for this? The second one. Because the first one is a complete sentence. So we don't need to write. And you can save the time too. In this exercise. It's extremely important to save the time. Because we don't get much time for this. Maximum around 14 minutes, that's all. Write one point on each line. There are three lines for this. Equipment needed for the players. So three lines means three points should be written separately in three lines. That's why three lines are given here. And let's see this. Nets and bracket, one answer. And the second answer, balls. Equipment needed for the players. Now, these are two different nouns. The candidate has written nets and brackets in one line. That means it's one mark. But you have written two points in one line. So you don't get uh, two points for this. Only one point you get. So this is the right answer. So that way, one answer, one point should be used to write in one line. Do not repeat the same information even if you use different words. Sometimes you might use different words. You can use the same answer mistakenly sometimes when you use different words. So avoid that. That's not exactly good. Transfer information very carefully. When you transfer information in note making, definitely you have to transfer them very, very carefully. And we will see this example, hall, hall, and spread, spread. And if the text says, and without looking at the text sometimes, you might write uh, the hall. The text has so, uh, shown this word, W-H-O-L-E. But without looking at the text, if you write W-H-O-L-E, just H-O-L-E, so that's the wrong transformation, right? And Transfer information very carefully. So you should be very careful. That means you have to read it again. Uh, read it again and pick the correct word and write. Don't just write with the memory. So that will lead low marks. And find out the correct word from the text as it is. It is given there. It tests your reading skills. Not your writing skill. Because it tests only your reading skill not writing a skill because you don't need to write anything else uh, from your own because you you don't have all the answers are there given so that you are just lifting them and applying them in the not making make sure the examiner understands you your notes must make sense are you now ready for an exercise so i know that uh, you have got the basic knowledge for uh, about not making i think uh, you are ready for the 
not making exercise now. So I will meet you in the next lesson. Wish you good luck. Thank you very much. But still, I remind you to scan this and to uh, present your present. Mark your present here. That's all. And good luck, everybody. See you in the next lesson.